Hi friends, I'm Walker and welcome back to All About Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty for nail polish. Today I have the Polish Spring Collection. This collection is eight pieces. There is one topper and seven flaky, I don't know, beautiful polishes. Um, so let's dive in and look at these. I will post all of the uh, release information, pre-order information down below in my description box and so you can check that out. Um, but let's dive in and look at these swatches. Okay, first up we're gonna look at April showers. This is described by Polish as a rainy sky blue cream with metallic blue flakes. And I feel like the blue flakes in here are almost the exact same color as the base, which is kind of amazing. Some of the polishes that we're gonna look at today are a little bit sheer on that first coat. So this one in particular, I found the first coat to have just kind of a wash of color. You do get a ton of those flakes, um, but it didn't go on quite as you know evenly um, and as opaquely as I think some other flakies that I've tried from Polish, but it does build up in two coats really well, at least this one. We're gonna look at a couple <laughs> that might need three coats but this one I've been wearing it in two coats I was wearing it in the intro to this video my swatch photo is two coats so I felt like it was okay um, if you have longer nails or you you know do a lighter coat than I do you might need to go in for a third coat but I think it's absolutely gorgeous I love 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 the combination of the flakies and the base in here and this blue is really really interesting because you know they describe it describe it as like a rainy sky blue and I think that's perfect because it's definitely that sky blue, that lightness, but it has a little bit of gray in it. It's not super, super bright. So that's two coats of April showers. Okay, up next is Crystal Vision. And I'm gonna apologize right now for the scrape on one of my fingers here. I do live with three cats, as many of you know, and sometimes, you know, sometimes they just like to make themselves known. Um, okay, so Crystal Vision is a bright aqua cream with metallic turquoise flakes. So these flakes are a little bit different than the others that we've seen so far. They definitely have that kind of bright turquoise color to them. And the base in this is very similar to the one in April showers where in the first coat, it's going on a little bit more sheer, you know, not as densely pigmented, but this one I think you will need three coats on because I found that just because that color was a little bit lighter, a little bit brighter, potentially there's more white in this base. I'm not, I'm not really sure, uh, but it just felt like I needed a third coat to get it all the way opaque. You can see here on my second coat, I'm definitely getting a much more intense color. That color is building up, but I still have some patches that are not totally, totally opaque and the pigment is not totally even across my nail. So I'm gonna do three coats on this one, but I think it is so worth it. I don't really mind doing three coats um, as long as the coats aren't really a pain to apply. Um, and this one I think is really easy to apply. You just kind of need to build it up a little bit, but look at the color of that base. That aqua base is just, absolutely stunning and i love that the flakes in here kind of contrast a little bit you know they're a little bit deeper than the base but they just work so well <laughs> i just yeah i love this one it's so beautiful it feels very springy to me um and i just really like that it's you know so similar to april showers and yet it is really such a different polish um so you're looking at three coats of crystal vision and again you might be able to get away with two Okay, here we have Silver Springs. This one is described as a soft gray cream with metallic silver flakes. And I know I've posted this swatch on Instagram already and so many of you were so excited about it. I know there are a lot of you who are excited to see things that are not the gold flakes. I personally love the gold flakes and so I have no problem with more of those. But I know that the silver is really nice. It's kind of unique and different. And I like these flakes. I think it works well with this base. Um, again, this one's a little bit sheer on that first coat. And I think this is another one where I decided to go in for three coats because in the bottle, the base color is just this really gorgeous, deep, rich, kind of um, charcoal-y gray. And I just felt like on two coats, I didn't quite have the same intensity of the base that I wanted. You could totally stop it too. I think that it actually looks kind of nice. But as I'm adding this third coat here, you can see I just am really getting more density of that base color, which I just love. I love this gray color. So if you are a silver fan and you want to see this absolutely gorgeous contrast between the silver flakes and the charcoal gray, you are going to love this one. So you're looking at three coats of silver springs. Again, you could stop at two if you wanted it to be a little bit less intense. 
Okay, like I said, this is my favorite <laughs> collection that I've swatched from Polish. And I think it's probably because I've now worn two of them right in a row. So this is Songbird. And you know, I took off April showers after I filmed this video. Uh, and then I wore Songbird for a couple days and I just absolutely loved it. This one is described as a soft orchid purple cream with metallic rose flakes. And I somehow lost um, the majority of my second coat of this polish, but I do think this one actually builds up in two coats. I don't think you need three. And I think it's because as you can see on my first coat here, it's a little bit sheer, but it is very even. There's not a lot of patchiness. Um, so I apologize about losing that footage, but you are looking at two coats of Songbird. Okay, and here is Skyward. This one is a rose pink cream with metallic pink flakes. And so this one has, I think, very similar flakes to what was in Songbird, although those were described as rose. These ones are a little bit more pink. So I think the flakes in all of these are different. Um, and the base in this one is almost like a, it feels kind of like a candy pink, like a sherbet pink or bubblegum pink. It's very, very soft and delicate. It's very light. I do think this one needs three coats in my opinion, um, just cause it is a little bit softer, but you can see it's going on very, very smoothly, very easily. I did get one random blue glitter. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. So I'll pick it off um, after I finish this coat, but I really like this one. You know, you all know <laughs> that I'm not a huge pink fan. I was much more a fan of that orchid color on my skin tone. But I think for those of you that are pink fans, you are just going to love this one because look at the way those metallic pink flakes just kind of stand out. They really pop. They add something to the color. Yeah, this one's really good. And again, that pink is very juicy, almost like candy. Um, so you are looking at three coats of Skyward. It's very, very pretty. Okay, this is Cloudberry. It is described as a soft clay cream with metallic crimson flakes. And I am so excited to hear from you all how you feel about this one because I think it is so interesting but I'm not sure that I will ever wear it. So I'm so curious to hear from you all. I think some of you are a little more adventurous than I am in my indie uh, polishes, but I really enjoy this one. Like looking at it, I think is really, really fun. Um, it has a great formula. It's a little bit creamier than some of the other ones, probably because that base, you know, is lighter. You can see those flakies, uh, but it, yeah, it goes on really, really well. So I think in two coats, it's totally opaque, unlike some of the other ones that we've looked at in this collection. Again, it is a little bit creamier. Um, it reminds me of <laughs> Polar Seltzer does, uh, you know, like seasonal flavors. And a while ago, they did a hibiscus cloudberry flavor. And so when I saw this one, that was the only thing I could think of. So you're looking at cloudberry in two coats. Okay, here we go. This is Meadow. This is the green with gold flakes, which I just... I love all of those things. I love green, I love gold flakes. It's described by Polish as a soft avocado green cream with bright gold metallic flakes. And I'm gonna show you it compared to a couple other um, green and gold that I have from Polish just to help you kind of situate it. But it really is this very bright, very, very kind of yellow based green. Like it looks like avocado, <laughs> right? I can totally see avocado here. Um, but those gold flakes really just pop and they work so well because there's so much yellow in this polish already. I think it just really works well together. This one I do think is a good solid two coater. Again, I think that first coat similar to Skyward, um, it just goes on nice and you know, even you don't get as many kind of patches. And so I think it's perfect in two coats. Um, I am gonna show you it here compared to a couple others that I have. So I have Nagini and I also have Matcha. Nagini is an older one. Matcha was from maybe a couple falls ago. They had like a drinks collection. And I think you can see that Nagini and Matcha are much lighter. They have more white in them. They're not quite as intense green. And on the nails, you really see that difference. So you can see Meadow is super, super green compared to Nagini and Matcha. So I hope that's a somewhat helpful comparison. We're gonna now look at the topper in this collection. This is Gloriana. It is a clear topper with a mix of rose and crimson metallic flakes. And this one just totally sparkles, <laughs> I think. Um, I don't know that I really noticed that there was a mix of flakes in here, um, you know, the pink and the, the crimson and the rose, but I think it's beautiful. So I'm just gonna show you this one over some creams. This is Peony, Rhododendron, Lilac, and Aster from Olive Ave Polish, which is my brand. Um, but I love this one honestly, over all of these, I really, really love it over rhododendron. I mean, it kind of just looks like 
songbird but i really like it over lilac yeah i just think it's really fun um i like it over peony i feel like you could put this over a lot of different polishes uh so yeah what a fun and unique topper Okay, I think I've teased this on Instagram, but I think this is my favorite collection that I've ever swatched from Polish. I just loved it. It felt cohesive, but different, totally springy to me. I just really enjoyed it. Um, today on my nails in this video, I'm wearing April showers, so you can see it uh, live. But I think if I had to pick favorites, I would pick three, which is a lot out of seven, but like I said, I really like this collection. Uh, Gloriana is the topper from this collection, and to me, it's just really unique. I know a lot of you um, might be more into indies than I am, and so you might have something else in your collection that's like this, but for me, this feels super unique. I don't have anything else. I don't think I've seen anything else, uh, and I just, yeah, I really enjoyed this. I think it's really fun, and I can imagine it being put over tons of different colors. So I, I really enjoyed this one. And then I think I really enjoyed, uh, yeah, I had to pick two. I had to pick the gold flaky one. This is Meadow. I mean, I just, I love the green with the gold flakes. Um, I did try to put in something just to show you in the bottle at least how this one compares to some of the other green with gold flakes that I have. And so, you know, you can decide for yourself if you have some of those other ones uh, and you need this one, but I really enjoyed this one. And then the other one I really liked is Crystal Vision. I don't really know what that name means, um, but I think this base is gorgeous. I know I just did my um, Our Face for Spring a couple weeks ago now, and this kind of color category was one of the colors that I'm just feeling super drawn to this spring, and I'm going to wear this one next um, from this collection. I'm really excited about it. I just... I just adore this one. It was really, really pretty. I like the contrasting flakies in the base. Um, you know, in April showers, those flakies are kind of the same color as the base, but in here they contrast, they stand out a little bit. I really enjoyed this one. Okay, as always, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below which was your favorite from this collection. Are there any that you think you might grab and add to your collection? Again, all the release information for these seven polishes is in my description box, so you can go check that out. Awesome, thanks so much for joining, and I can't wait to see you in next week's video. Bye.